If you've been watching coding videos and happen to notice them using the enum keyword, then you may be wondering what they're used for. An enum or an enumerator can probably be described in its simplest form as a set of related constants. You can group these constants together for easier access in your application. Let's take a look at an example. If you want to follow along, go to the browser of your choice and open up dartpad.dev. Let's say you're building a project management tool, and each project can have four statuses, not started, in progress, completed, and on hold. So you go ahead and add your first project, which currently has a status of in progress. We will create a simple map like this. Now in a real world scenario, you would not want to build it this way. You would more than likely want to use a database or something similar, but we're going to keep it super simple for this example. Now let's say 37 projects later, you do something like this. This technically works as well, but as you see, there is a typo in this, which might affect any other scripts, reporting, or anything else that might be using this map. If you have a script that counts the number of projects that are set to in progress, for example, it would show the count as one, not two. If you are dealing with thousands of records, this could obviously potentially become a huge problem. So we can use constants instead. We will create constants for our four statuses at the top, and per Dart's recommendations, we will use lower camel case to format them. And now we can just set the status to in progress and it's a little easier to keep up with over many records. If you make a typo, you will get an error now. The potential problem now though, is that if you have a really large project or say four years later, you hire a new person, you may not remember what you set all the statuses to or what statuses are available, etc. And yeah, you could of course just look them up. They should be easy to find if you've structured your app in a way that's easy to understand for you but there is a way that is a bit more convenient, enter enums. So we will create our project status enum at the top. And now no matter where you are in the app, you can see exactly what statuses are available to you, which should lower your chance of error when working with the project statuses. But what if you wanted it to say in progress like it did before? There's a few ways we can do that. You can do it with a switch, for example. So we will create a new function and call it status of value. And then call status value in our map. And that will get you the results you're looking for on that first project. But if you use enhanced enums that were introduced in Dart 2.17, you can do it a lot simpler. We will make these edits to our enum. and then make the modifications to our map on the 37th project. And you will have the results you want on both. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how enums work. If you enjoyed this video, you might check this video out right here, and I hope to see you in the next one.